one of the ten horns of Revelation chapter 17. On October 25th, 2023, I had a vision. In the vision, it was a very busy vision and there were many things being shown to me. It appeared that there were many people. I even saw soldiers and war equipment just moving around. And then I saw Yahushua, a Jew, Jesus Christ, and he was in heaven. Then the vision zoomed in on a man. And I saw that this man was Benjamin Netanyahu. It was very clear to me that I was looking at Benjamin Netanyahu. He was wearing a gray suit and he had a very fierce or angry look on his face. And he was not looking at me, but he was just looking out over the scenery. Then I noticed that I saw Yahushua, Jesus Christ, and he was looking at Benjamin Netanyahu. Yahushua had on a king's robe, and he was wearing a crown on his head. Now, he was standing somewhat at an angle and some a bit of a distance behind Netanyahu. Uh, so Netanyahu did not see him, or I didn't see him see him, but uh, Jesus was looking at him from the back as Netanyahu was looking for it. Now, Jesus was looking at him because he was not standing head on. He was standing like to an angle and he almost had his head turned to the side as to say, what is going on with this man? But he was looking at Netanyahu in definitely a strange kind of way. Now, Jesus didn't say anything nor did uh, Netanyahu say anything, but he, Jesus was definitely looking at, at him uh, with a notable type of interest. Then that vision faded. Now, I was a bit confused and even said to myself, uh, right after I had the vision, what am I? doing seeing this man in a vision from heaven now brothers and sisters i must admit i had been praying about benjamin netanyahu because i had been praying that he would be removed from power so that the killing of the people um the palestinian people would stop so that is what i had been praying about so when I got this vision, um, it really kind of took me uh, for a loop, I guess you could say. I did not expect to see a vision of him because, again, I had been praying about him, but I did not see, uh, I did not expect to see this vision. Now, even in the vision, it didn't appear that he was getting ready to stop doing anything because he had this fierce look fierce, almost angry, mad look on his face. Uh, as I said, the vision ended. And I did pray about understanding, but I did not get anything else on that particular vision. But it did stay in my mind. Why am I seeing a vision of Netanyahu? But today, you know, as I was doing my studies, I believe that the Lord brought to my mind and gave me a revelation of what that vision was about. I believe, I believe that he has shown me who Benjamin Netanyahu is. I believe that Benjamin Netanyahu is one of the ten horns of the beast of Revelation chapter 17. I believe that the Lord has given me that revelation today. Remember, in Revelation chapter 17, there is a woman who is riding a scarlet colored beast with seven heads. The beast has seven heads and ten horns. Now, that woman who's riding the beast is Mystery Babylon. She's also called the mother of whores. God has revealed to me very clearly 
that Mystery Babylon is the United States of America. Now, he's revealed that to other messengers because I've heard them say the same thing. So, therefore, I have no misconceptions as to who God is talking about when he speaks of Mystery Babylon. He's speaking of USA, America, as the Mystery Babylon woman. The beast that the woman is riding is the beast, the same beast, or it is the red dragon who the Bible who by, who the Bible calls Satan. In other in other words, this scarlet colored beast is Satan. It's Satan's kingdom. It represents Satan's kingdom. Remember, a beast in prophecy repre represents a government or kingdom. The various heads on this red beast or scarlet colored beast represents the individual kingdoms that make up the kingdoms of the of the beast. And also the horns. Now this beast had uh, seven heads and ten horns. Now those horns, the Bible says that they represent uh, kings and kingdoms too, or kings or in, and governments also. Now, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you that I believe that the Lord has revealed to me that Benjamin Netanyahu is one of the ten horns of the beast of Revelation chapter 17. And I believe that's what he was showing me in that dream, but he gave me spiritual um understanding of that just this morning. Now, my intention here is not to cover entirely the chapter 17, Revelation chapter 17, because it's going to make this video too long if I try to do that. So I'm just going to pick out a few verses that I want to kind of bring out to basically show or say, show you what the Bible is saying and related to what I'm saying. Um, so I want to share these with you, uh, those verses with you. We'll start with Revelation chapter 17, verses 3 through 5. So he carried me away in the spirit, carried me away uh, in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit on a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cap, uh, excuse me, golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness and, and her fornication. No, uh, verse five. And upon her forehead was written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Now, that's basically uh, just a reading of those verses. Now, based on, on what the Lord has shown me, this is what we know. First of all, I believe, and I believe I can say that I know that Netanyahu is one of the ten horns of the beast. Uh, this mentioned in Revelation uh, seventeen three, and number two, America is Mystery Babylon, and that's mentioned in verse number five. Now I want to share with you that according to to the Bible, I want to share share with you how the Bible say this relationship, meaning the ten horn relationship, and the with Babylon relationship, I want to share you share with you how that's going to end because uh, that's very interesting. So, so Revelation uh, chapter seventeen verse sixteen says, "And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore." Now, remember, the whore is America. 
and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So basically, this verse is saying, Netanyahu and his group are going to actually destroy America. That's basically what it's saying. So make sure that you understand it. Uh, for God has put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. In other words, the woman who was sitting on the beast is America. The beast is the devil's kingdom. Netanyahu is one of those 10 kings that are now arising up in power. So Netanyahu is not who he claims to be. He is one of the 10 kingdoms, the 10 kings that's going to rise up. Okay. The last verse, uh, verse 18. And the woman which you saweth is the great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. And that we know that great city is America. So summary, here's my summary. So even though America is riding the scarlet beast, Netanyahu and his cohorts, they all hate America. And they will be the ones who will actually destroy her and burn her with fire. It will happen, brothers and sisters, because God has put it in their hearts to do that. I can't change it. I am only sharing what I believe God has shown me. So uh, I know this may be something that people don't under understand, but I'm, I mean, don't, may, may not agree with it. But I'm telling you what I believe that the Lord has shown me. And the, the one that may be very surprising to you is who he has shown me that Benjamin Netanyahu, Netanyahu is. So if you have any questions, feel free to get back with me and I will say shalom until the next time.